Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Pisces. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with every Pisces and it will not resonate with every Pisces cross watcher. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have someone rising or Venus placements in Pisces or you are dealing with someone that does, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. Personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule a personal reading with me. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. All right, what is going on with my Pisces collective? So we have Poker Face. We have Divine Intervention. Okay, we have Cutout and we have Gypsy. Okay, so let's move these over. I saw 111 on the camera. Something is brewing. What is up with all these energy? Like of people, so, there's a lot of energy of people that have been hiding their feelings, hiding their true intentions holding back, getting to the point where they can't hold back any longer. And it's because people, you guys are cutting them off. That's what's happening. People are, people that don't want to be emotionally like vulnerable, express their feelings, don't want to reveal their true intentions, don't want to be upfront and honest. You guys are getting fed up with them and you're cutting them out of your life. You're cutting your losses. Um, and I feel like now all of a sudden these people... I feel like you're getting pushed to your breaking point with these people that aren't ta are taking you for granted. They're not refusing to commit to you. Um, but there's these people that want to hide their feelings and emotions from you that I feel like are getting to that point where they're going to want to reveal something to you because you guys are really cutting them off. All right. All right, poker phase. We have the three of cups. What about divine intervention? Oh, I didn't even realize that this had two cards. We have the four of pentacles and we also have the four of wands, okay? Tell me about the cutout card, the ace of cups. So you guys are cutting your losses and opening up the like the door for new love to come in and new beginning. We have the five or you guys maybe know that something is not over and that you're probably going to end up reconciling with somebody. Maybe you guys are just like, you know, if I still feel like I have a deep connection to this person. Um, yeah, I, I still feel connected to them. I still feel like they may be my person, but I do need to cut them off for right now. And I maybe I need to keep my options open for now because this person is being emotionally unavailable. They're hiding their feelings for me. They could be possibly hiding. What is it? What's this three of cups? Right now, you guys are maybe lacking hope and faith in the situation. You're kind of giving up on it, but you're also giving it to the divine or trusting the divine plan because I feel like you guys maybe enter, like know that this isn't over, like that this person's going to want to come back or they're going to have regrets or something like that, that something isn't over. Or maybe some of you guys, there's somebody coming back towards you for reconciliation and you guys are not taking them back because you know that they have not changed. Somebody is really trying to hold on to stability and security in their comfort zone here. So I feel like it's going to require for somebody to break out of that. It looks like it's going to require divine intervention. What is this three of cups for the poker face card? The two of, So maybe this person is trying to make a decision between you and somebody else. Tell me more about it. Or you and something else. The emperor in reverse. Power struggles. What does this have to do with Pisces? Yeah, Ten of Cups in reverse. So things have not been harmonious between you and this person. But it's like they're going to want to make, they will want to make amends. So who's this third, who's this other person? Maybe something else isn't working out for them. Yeah, they're going to have failure in another situation. Something that they're freeing themselves from. Yeah, they were trying to make a decision here. 
I see like an ending of a relationship with somebody that's cold, harsh, malicious, bitter, cruel, possibly. Hmm, interesting. So what does this mean for Pisces and this person? So we have, what do we have here? Scorpio energy. We have, we have the Aries energy. What's this mean for this connection going forward? Leo energy, strength in reverse. Somebody, I swear somebody's about to let their guard down. The magician, Aries energy, two of wands. What does this have to do with Pisces? Fears. I just feel like this person's going to maybe try to let their guard down. Be more vulnerable with you. All right. And want to manifest something with you. They're going to want to try to make whatever you guys had envisioned together happen. But then you're going to have a choice to make. I feel like you're going to be afraid of this. Like you're going to be kind of guarded and not know what decision to make. Um, when this person does come in like this, you're going to be like, should I stay with this person or should I go? Um, I feel like you are a little bit worried about whether or not this can stabilize into something long term. What's the Ten of Pentacles mean for in reverse mean for Pisces? Yeah, Five of Pentacles. Like you feel like you don't know if this is going to work out. For some of you, this is a specific message. You feel like something to do with their family. Like you feel like you won't fit in with their family or you feel like they'll, you're, you're, you'll be excluded from their family or something like that. Tell me more. Maybe you guys know that this person is going through some type of financial issues and you don't know if you should let this person back in. Let's see. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Hierophant, Heavy, heavy Taurus. What's this mean for Pisces? See, Two of Cups in reverse though. Judgment. See, someone's maybe going through a divorce. Somebody's going through a divorce here. I'm telling you. Uh, somebody's going through some legal issues. Trying to close out a cycle. What does this have to do with Pisces though? They miss you. They feel rejected by you or they feel like things are delayed between the two of you. But the world, what about the world, the fool? They, they plan to close out a cycle and take a leap of faith toward you, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. How is that going to work out? They're trying to release the fear to do so. Because like I said, they're very guarded. Their, their, their intuition is trying to tell them to kind of like surrender here, I feel like. Let's see. See, we have irreplaceable. Didn't I tell you that something else didn't work out? No one compares to you. They can't fight it anymore. Their heart keeps coming back to you. You see, yeah, divine intervention will help bring the two of you together. Devoid of light. Not in a good place emotionally right now. Heartbreak or depression. And we have illusions. Okay, so it says move on from the illusion of them so you don't lose yourself in loving them. So I feel like you guys are like, maybe you've been coming to terms with the fact that maybe this person isn't who you need them to be right now, or they, they're incapable of giving you what you want at this time. Like, and I feel like you guys have been trying to let them go and move on, but still maybe having a knowing that this person will be back. All right. After they get their life together or something changes, it says cleaning up their life and getting ready to start a new life with you. Yeah. Extra protection. You guys have been being protected. Spirit is also trying to teach you how to be independent, not need another person. But this person's going through a rebirth. And what I what I say, it says recent breakup. They ended their relationship to be with you. It's up to you if you want to take them back. I think they did try to go explore other options, though, guys. A lot of you, I feel like they're going through a divorce, though. It says trying to replace you or believe they can find someone better. But they're going to come in and test the waters with you. Yeah, family issues. Family responsibilities are holding them back. Maybe a marriage. What does grass is greener mean for this person? Fear of loss. Maybe they're afraid that you're going to find that the grass is greener on the other side as well. I don't know if they've been exploring other options. That's obviously not working out for them because they're lonely. They've been feeling so lonely. They crave your attention. Hopefully it's not out of convenience. And we have fear of loss. The fear of losing you is much greater than the fear of the unknown. 
So that leap that they've been afraid to take, they, it looks like fear is fear of losing you is going to push them into taking that leap, okay? Ten ten on the camera. I'm telling you, a cycle's about to close out. Yeah, they're going to want another chance. Another chance to get it right. New year, goals, restart, resolutions. In the works, yep. It has already begun. Nothing else to be done. What you want, wants you. So they're telling you to let go, okay? It says there was a need for you and this person to spend some time apart. And I do see that you guys are walking away or have walked away from them. Because um, you don't feel like it's this person's worth waiting for. You don't feel like they're good for you. They won't make up their mind about you. And they're in some type of messy situation. All right? But... And it may take a while for them to get that situation under control. And I feel like Spirit is trying to force this person into change. So what's going to happen going forward? I see this person's going to ask for another chance or come back for another chance. We have Pisces season. So it says, do what aligns with your spirituality, intuitive, sensitive, perceptive. So you guys maybe feel this person slowly moving towards you. What about Pisces season? Yeah, when you let go. Maybe you guys knew that this person wasn't going to appreciate you or... It says, what, when you let go, what's for you will come. Clinging, control, resistance. Let go of what's holding you back. What's this mean for this person? Yeah, they're not making up their mind. <laughs> they're still not making up their mind. Okay, so is that just what's... They need to let go of something from their past, and they can't make the decision to do so, okay? So... That's why Spirit is telling you to just let go. The stagnant person that won't make up their mind about you is only going to hold you back. You know, if it's meant to be, it will come together later. But there's definitely a lot of indecision here that's causing delays for you and this person. They need to release the past. Guidance for my Pisces collective. Healing. So it says, you've been through a difficult initiation, which has prepared you for the role of a healer. Don't doubt your power. We have collaborate. Be, keep an open heart and mind. Collaborate with people you can learn from. It doesn't have to be a solo act. And we have freedom. Without freedom, there is no creation. Let your spirit take flight. And we have unfolding. Yeah, exactly. You closed a chapter in your life. However, the story is not over. Give it time to unfold and see it through the end. Anything specific to this person. One card. See it change. Be willing to let go of what you plan to have. The life that is waiting for you. Okay. So this is what I have for you. I hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could take something from this reading. Personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.